If for whatever brain dead reason I ever forget when my birthday is, all I've got to do is notice when the world around me becomes all bizarro. Observe. She has to. Oh my God. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, nothing. You setting things up. Not me? Nothing. Same old, same old. Can the coyness. I know you guys are throwing me a surprise birthday party. My God, woman, how in Kreskin's name did you figure that out? Cher, of course we're throwing you a surprise party. What did we do for your birthday last year? Threw me a surprise party. And the year before that. Threw me a surprise party. And how about every birthday since you were six? Threw me a surprise party. So, the big question is, how are we planning to surprise you this year? I don't know. After all these years, I think I'm kind of surprised out. Really? Adam! What a surprise! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, chimps. I am working with chimps. She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can't see. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She'll steal you away. Not just the one. has warned that a lifetime of Beverly Hills birthday parties could leave one jaded. I demand a second opinion. For my knees are weak, my heart's doing a cha-cha, and the party hasn't even begun. Reason numero uno is Adam. Last year when he left Bronson A to train for the Extreme Games, yeah! I was depressed, defeated, and de... de... de miserable. Wait, here he comes. Check face for drool and say something witty and aloof. <laughs> So how's my little birthday gal? Not so little anymore. That's right. Big one eight. You know what that means. Yeah, I do. Hey! Sean, the ladder is right under your foot. Just put your foot down. Help! I'll be back. Oops. Hang on, Sean. <laughs> I'm coming. So? So happy, so giddy, so psyched. Thanks, Dee. Oh I God. expect an honorable mention in the wedding vows. Mm. Well, don't engrave the invitations yet. Adam and I have been apart for a whole semester, but I think I'm still carrying a tiny torch for him. Aha! Tiny torch? You are the deflowering inferno. Throw yourself at his feet any harder, you might chip a tooth. Okay, gang. Have a great time tonight. Daddy, I feel so bad you being banished from the property. I'm not banished, I'm merely relinquishing. It's part of my gift to you. A dad-free 18th. And where's the part I can take a picture of? Don't worry. It's coming. Meantime, you guys have a great time. And happy birthday, sweetheart. Thank you, Daddy. Interesting how some parents feel the need to buy their children's love. Sad, really. You're kidding. Your father buys you a chunk of Rodeo Drive every week. Yeah, but that is not to buy my love. That merely prevents me from holding my breath. Whoa, this is heavy. From Amber. Motor oil. And. Windshield wipers. And. Corn nuts. Thanks. What the hell is that crap? All of my cards were maxed out, except my shell card. Happy motoring! <laughs> hey, time to be the Toastmaster General. Everyone raise your glasses. Here's to the kindest, coolest, most beautiful girl in the world. Please, you're making me blush. I saw your face in every mountain I snowboarded, in every cloud I dove through, in every cliff I hurled myself from. Happy birthday, Cher. You're the best. Mm. Okay, okay, y'all. It's my turn. Cher, your 18th birthday is very special. In the eyes of society, you're now an adult. You're old enough to vote. You could even join the army. Oh, well, you'd lose that pesky gel bait status. So here's to the end of our friendship as kids, and to the beginning of our friendship as adults. <laughs> yeah. Salud! Salud! Okay, it's my turn. 
This is to my very best. There has never been a more bosom buddy, a wiser advisor, or a more playful playmate. Everyone, I give you share. 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 <laughs> okay, I just want to ask you all, who can turn the world on with her smile? Who can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile? Well, it's you, girl, and you should know it. With each glance and every little movement, just show it. Love is all around, no need to waste it. You can have a town, why don't you take it? was gonna be a band. Neither did I. Well, you better go check it out. Daddy? <laughs> yes, yes. This is either Daddy's birthday gift or... What a Crips got a new clubhouse. Listen up, y'all. When our special guest artists come out, make sure you give it up for them. Let them know you're out there. Hey, hey those roadies are getting busy. Nah, nice. man, those are roadies. That's... In sync! <laughs> my neighbor. Look, I'm sorry for all the noise. Everyone's leaving now. I hope you get a good night's sleep, Mr. Sheen. Oh, Charlie's been so crabby since rehab. Adam, be a deer and throw my keys into the bushes. Amber, I'm so sorry. We've been looking for your keys everywhere and we still can't find them. Oh, gosh darn it. I guess I'll just have to bum a ride with you guys. No, no, we can just call you a cab or... Oh, please. I faint at that level of B.O. Now, have you guys ever considered a girl in the band? A girl? Is that my beeper? Well, I performed with Menudo once. Huh? Well, I mean, it was either Menudo or a couple of busboys at El Torito, but you should have seen a slumpata. Happy birthday, Cher. This was so much fun. We'd almost do it for free. I said almost, right? You guys were great. Is, is Amber, is she stable? Not even close. Great. What an amazing night. I wish it didn't have to end. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you'd like to. I'm gonna hate my own guests someday. 
But a gentleman never takes advantage, even if he wants to. You are such an idiot. I know. Will you forgive me? Always. Okay. Who needs a home ride? Oh no 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 my man. The only thing you'll be riding is made of porcelain. I'll do the honors. Thank Guess you. again, my man. Seeing you drinking out of too many glass slippers tonight. I'll do the honors. See you in the morning. Downs at six of five. <laughs> Pistols at dawn. <laughs> oh. Please get them home. Come on, guys. We're out of here. <laughs> I think I'm in. Oops. I think I forgot something. Adam? Hey, I know it's early. I just couldn't stay away. I wish you had never left. Don't I get any points for being a good guy? Yeah, five. Would you like to redeem them now? Then stay close enough so you'll remember. Maybe I will. I'm thinking of sticking around for a while. Are you serious? You decide. Here, I've realized I don't want to live my life without you. Oh my god. Cher, will you? Hello? Oh, hi, Adam. I was just dreaming about you. No, it's not Adam. Okay, I said it's about Adam. Look, Cher, there's been an accident. Murray. Hey. Well, thank God you're okay. How are Sean and Adam? I don't know. I mean, they're still in there with the doctors and the police. The police? I guess Adam was a little buzzed because he missed the curve and we hit a tree. Hey, Doc, how they doing? Better. They both got banged up pretty good. Sean's wrist is broken and Adam took a nasty blow to the head. We're keeping them overnight for observation. So they're okay? Compared to most drunk driving accidents I deal with, I'd say they're very lucky. So, uh, Dion, what was up with that big old bear hug last night? What are you talking about, Murray? Come on, you still got feelings for me. It's all good. Look, psychiatric ward, fourth floor. See ya. Come on, look, you tried the rest, but you still crave the best. It's all good. Are you sure you're not the one with the lump on your head? Murray, I hugged you because I was concerned. You were concerned? Yes. Well, what were you concerned? That I fractured my ass? Because <laughs> your hands were definitely checking out my pressure. They were not. They were too. Shut up. Ah, uh, sorry. No, no speak of the Flemish. What are you doing? If Fetcher laid his nose job, I would buy a veil and move to the Middle East. <sighs> well, that's no nose job. That beak's been broken. What in the name of Barbara Streisand happened? What? Okay, I'll tell you, but the tabloids cannot find out about this. Now, as you know, last night, at their insistence, <laughs> I reluctantly left with the NSYNC boys. You threw yourself at them, but yes, blather on. I mean, at first, it was all just fun and games. <laughs> but then, jealousy reared its ugly green head. She's mine, I saw her first. No, that beauty's mine. I mean, they turned on each other like a pack of jackals. And I was the last piece of meat on the Serengeti. <laughs> I mean, I tried to stop them, but the next thing I know, I am in an in-sync sandwich, and a J.C. Cross intended for Lance lands on moi. I mean, they, they, they felt horrible. They sent me flowers. Hey! Hey, Lucy! For the last time, those are mine. <sighs> She's convinced she's Ethel. So sad. So, uh, what are you kids doing here? We're here to see Adam and Sean. What happened? Our car had a run in with a tree. Are they all right? We think so. Oh, thank God. I mean, if they were all sliced up and icky, oh, I really would not want to look at them. Let's roll. <laughs> 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 Hospital 
food not agreeing with you? Look, I can't get these buttons with one hand, so we've got two options here. One, I leave here with my pants around my ankles. Or two, you button them up for me. Well, try not to trip on your way out. Oh, come on. I'm just kidding, man. Come here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right. Please don't yell so loudly. Oh, what, did you hit your head too? No dashboard could cause this kind of damage. My pain stems purely from champagne. <laughs> so my boy's got his first hangover. <laughs> and his last. If I ever drink again, promise me you'll break my other arm. Promise. So, Adman, just a little bump on the melon. You were lucky, huh? No, I was an idiot. I should have never driven last night. Yeah, well, you were the least buzzed out of all of us. But I was still drunk. Could have killed you, killed Sean. Right now, that doesn't seem like such a bad thing. So when are they busting you loose, Crash? I think the test will be done around six. I'll swoop by and get you. Tonight's ride will be tree free, I guarantee. <laughs> and then you guys are coming straight to my place, and Dee and I are gonna cook you a special get well dinner. Oh, I'd, I'd love to join you guys, but I'm sure those InSync boys are probably worried sick. <laughs> I bet they're writing a tribute song about me as we speak. Yeah, Candle in the Wind Bag. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> See you later. Oh, come on. I'm sorry I ruined your birthday. You made my birthday. I'm just sorry all of this had to happen. I should have made you stay the night. You know what they say? Nice guys finished wrapped around a tree with a DUI and no license. I was really scared. You know? Maybe this is a wake-up call. I used to think I was bulletproof, but now I know I'm not. Well, none of us are. So what am I gonna do now? Do I really want to live my life chasing the next thrill? Or do I want something more? Something real? Like you? Maybe I can help you decide. Maybe you already have. This is ridiculous. I can walk. Yeah, but then your pants will fall down again. I don't touch a man's buttons. Sean, the wheelchair's hospital policy. They're liable if something happens to you. They don't want you to get hurt. Ow! That hurt! That really hurts. <laughs> oh, do you want a little cheese with that wine? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You don't drink anymore. Amber, that's not funny. Amber? Amber Marins? Yes? Are you a fan? This is a restraining order demanding that you stay at least 500 feet away from NSYNC at all times. <laughs> oh, those pranksters. <laughs> Tell them I'll razz them back later. <laughs> Look, Red, you get near those boys and you're going to jail. You've stalked, phoned, and harassed them for the last time. And next time a roadie slams a door in your nose, take the hint. You know, we, we, we joke back and forth like this all the time. <laughs> Tell the boys they really got me. <laughs> oh, you know, I think that was the dad from Growing Pains. And I think you're the bunny boiler from Fatal Attraction. Oh, oh. <sighs> Let's just finish setting the table. Check us out, Cher. Two Susie homemakers making dinner for our men. See? Your Freudian slip is showing. You just said our men. I did not. You're so hooked on him, aren't you? Oh, shut up. Murray, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, maybe. I knew it. Oh, and you should talk? What? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. The hospital just called about Adam. What happened? Cher, sure, there were, uh, complications. Daddy, what are you talking about? A little while ago, Adam, Adam died. What? I'm so sorry. There were internal injuries. But he can't be dead. We just saw him this morning. I mean, it's not fair. He learned his lesson, Dad. He learned it last night. I mean, he won't do it again. He... Think 
that since they've had less to drink than their friends, then they can get behind the wheel. This is a mistake, sometimes a fatal one. Traffic accidents are the single greatest killer of young people in America, and nearly half of these accidents are alcohol-related. More college undergraduates will die of alcohol-related accidents than will earn their master's and Ph.D. degrees combined. Just one drink can affect your driving ability and increase your chances of an accident. Call a cab, sleep on a couch, just don't get into that car.